Amalienborg Palace, home of Denmark's queen. Tourists assemble here daily to see the changing of the guard. Each of the Scandinavian countries has a royal family. While they're quite popular and have avoided the scandals that plague other European royalty, the Nordic kings and queens are only figureheads. And though preserving many imperial traditions, the modern kingdom of Denmark is ruled by a constitution and parliament. Denmark values her freedom, prosperity, and distinct way of life. In our generation, many Danes are unenthusiastic about joining a united Europe. And back when Hitler's Germany nearly created its own brand of a united Europe, the Danish underground resisted heroically. This makeshift tank can be found at Denmark's Fight for Freedom Museum. This museum tells the fascinating story of Denmark's Nazi resistance struggle. Germany invaded and occupied neutral Denmark in 1940. As more and more Danish factories were used to bolster the German war machine, Danish resistance grew. The small underground movement quickly swelled to a secret army of 45,000. Clandestine radio transmitters stayed in contact with London. And Danish ingenuity was evident in the numerous creative acts of sabotage. Train tracks were blown up. Microfilm was hidden in this hollowed out coin. This homemade torpedo was addressed to a German warship. And this crate of beer bottles packed one powerful punch. Just down the street from the museum is the most photographed citizen of Copenhagen, the Little Mermaid. In the much-loved Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, the Little Mermaid saves the life of a shipwrecked prince and sets off on a futile quest to win his love. The target of numerous pranks, the mermaid once had her head stolen. It was never recovered. She sits, ever patient, with her replacement head, waiting for her sailor to return, or the tourists to leave. 